about the brief history of megadevelopment therapy in Slovakia, as well as the actual stage <coughs> of the magotherapy in our country. <coughs> our first contacts uh, with magotherapy therapy became in spring uh, 2004 when colleagues from first surgery department of uh, medical faculty hospital contact our institute uh, with the request to uh, help them with the establishing of magodebridement therapy since uh, they a bit complained that uh, conventional methods of uh, non-healing wound treatment are not always uh, sufficient and due to this they considered that uh, the magotherapy can be helpful in these uh, critical cases, these critical situations. Of course, it was a very attractive topic for us. So we immediately established the colony of uh, Lucilia sericata at the insectaries of our institute, and we started uh, to adapt the techniques and methods for sterile larvae production. <clears throat> As soon as we, when we shall be, when we will be so sure that uh, we are able to provide a sufficient volume of larvae of uh, good quality and sterility, we ask the ethical commission of uh, medical faculty hospital for the permission to apply the sterile maggots in a selected sample of uh, patients. Early 2005, uh, magodebridement therapy was first time applied uh, to two patients at the first surgery department of uh, this hospital, and uh, uh, the results of the applications were quite promising. Due to this, uh, the team of physicians working in this department decided to continue in the application of magodebridement therapy, and the next uh, patients were treated. <clears throat> quite soon, we have recognized that uh, our abilities uh, to produce sterile maggots at the institute are quite limited, and uh, due to this, we recognize that there is a demand to establish the laboratory which will be specialized just for sterile larvae reproduction. We decided to set up the non-profit organization called MEDALT, the organization that, which uh, should be focused on the development of biotherapeutic methods and the introduction of these methods in clinical praxis in Slovakia and Slovak hospitals. <clears throat> as well as, as soon as the nonprofit organization was uh, established, we asked for the project. The project was submitted to the European Social Foundation with the aim to establish the Margot de Breitman therapy in Slovakia. <clears throat> Our, uh, Project. We got this project, and the project was running starting at the January 1st, 2006, up to December 2008. <clears throat> Within this project, we were able to build uh, the laboratory, which is uh, focusing on the sterile reproduction. The laboratory was established in uh, the technological incubator in Malaska City, which is close to to Bratislava and to our institute. Uh, the laboratory consists of two units. Uh, the first is C unit, which is specializing for uh, maintaining the colony of Felucilia saricata. The second unit is focusing on sterile larvae production. And of course, uh, distribution of the larvae to hospitals and to physicians. <clears throat> A part of the project was the clinical study, which was done by uh, the second author of this presentation, Dr. Mark Chambal. Within this study, uh, 48 patients were included. Uh, average age of the patients were slightly over 60, 60 years. And uh, most of the applications were done in hospital. So average time of hospital stay of the patient was almost 20 days. <clears throat> uh, regarding the causality of the wounds, uh, most of the wounds were of uh, arterial, of, or the problems were of arterial or uh, venous system origin. Two, it was uh, 15 and 18 cases. Two cases were a combination of these two, arterial ven and venous and 30 cases were of other origin. <clears throat> Maybe interesting information is the 
information about the time of the wound duration, which was uh, uh, quite variable. Average time of the wound duration was uh, almost nine years, and uh, it varies uh, from slightly more than one month, which was the shortest one, and unbelievable 40 years, which was the longest uh, time of wound duration. <clears throat> Within this clinical study, 145 applications of uh, sterile markets were done. Uh, they were done in both, uh, both ways how it used to be done. Uh, either larvae were applied in dressings, it means the larvae were free on the wound, it was in uh, 95 applications, or larvae were applied in biobex, it was in the case of uh, 50 applications. The average uh, number of applications was uh, three applications per patient, and it again varies uh, from one to 15 application, applications. <clears throat> Regarding the duration, average time of application was almost uh, 60 hours, and against it varied from 20 hours up to 106 hours. One of the very positive aspects of uh, macrodebridement therapy is a very fast uh, first effect. It means that after first application, we can see substantial, um, substantial effect of uh, larval activity. In our cases, uh, it, uh, in 39 cases, uh, one became to be clean and uh, new formation of new tissue occurred. In two, days, two cases, uh, we observed slight positive e effects, and uh, we were not successful in six cases when it uh, finally um, finished with amputation. <clears throat> of course, for patients, it's more important the long-term effect, which uh, usually uh, resulted in um, complete healing of the wound. This uh, was uh, observed in our case, in our study in 11, Cases. Uh, in one case, uh, wound was healed in combination with other type of treatment. Substantial improvement of wound was uh, observed in 12 cases. One of the problems was uh, loss of the contacts with patients. Uh, sometimes patients simply stop uh, the, the therapy, and uh, we have no information later on uh, what was the result. So this was in the nine cases in the study and the no positive effect, usually because of a uh, highly developed stage of the wound, uh, was uh, in our cases in 12 cases. <clears throat> the results of this uh, clinical study, which was done is uh, first uh, surgery department, uh, became quite interesting also for other medical community in our country, and soon we, uh, we started to cooperate with physicians from other hospitals. Uh, uh, in uh, 2005 and 2006, uh, most of the experiments or of the applications were done in uh, the first uh, surgery department. L later on, we extend the cooperation to other hospitals. And uh, recently, we are cooperating with 16 hospitals in our country. Maybe this number seems to be not very high, but uh, I have to notice that we are quite small country. Slovakia has only five, over five million of inhabitants. If we split this number to individual hospitals, we can see that uh, in five or six uh, hospitals, macrodebridement therapy is used quite routinely and quite frequently. In other hospitals, it's used more occasionally. Regarding the production, based on our records uh, from the laboratory, uh, the production and delivery of larvae was quite high in this period. The highest was in 2008. It was over 187 thousands of larvae distributed to physicians. Uh, it declined substantially in this year, and this uh, decreased I have to notice that this is the number which is for first six months of this year. And another important factor is that because of the ending of the project, the funding of uh, our work was uh, interrupted. And due to this, uh, 
patients are now charged for uh, Magot application. So this is obviously this obviously has uh, or this obviously reduced the application of Magot debridement therapy in hospitals. Very important part of the project was the dissemination and dissemination activities. Since the magodebridement therapy is a method which, is, which was considered slightly exotic, I would say, <clears throat> it was very important to provide sufficient and good information to medical community as well as to common public about this method and the advantages of this method. So we organized over 20 presentations for medical teams in different hospitals. Uh, uh, five presentations were in a national and commercial TVs. Uh, some articles were published in newspapers and journals. Uh, and some when brochure was uh, prepared for nurses and other hospital staff. Except of this, we published also a book uh, about uh, megotherapy. This in Slovak language, uh, it is uh, focused for uh, medical doctors and for uh, hospital staff, and uh, it includes uh, principles of magodebridement therapy, and is completed with experience of Slovak uh, physicians with these methods. <clears throat> when the project was finished, uh, we, we recognized that we would be very, very happy to continue in this work, which we consider it quite successful, and to extend our research also for other biotherapeutic methods. And due to this, we applied for another project, which is just uh, running over the year. The project is focusing on the building of laboratory for the research of biotherapeutic methods, but also for bioactive molecules, which are produced by organisms, which are used for biomedical treatment. The project is running at the Institute of Zoology and is funded from Structural Funds Operational Program Research and Development and uh, will be finished uh, or the, the end is expected on February 2012. In the first months of this project, uh, we already adapted part of some labs at the Institute for ichthyotherapy purposes. We built uh, the, play, the space where the ichthyotherapy will be done, as well as the space uh, where the Gararufa fishes will be reared and uh, produced for these purposes. <clears throat> Besides of this, uh, we applied for another project with uh, private company Scientica, uh, which is focusing on building the much bigger facility for standard clinical application of biotherapeutic methods, mostly those methods which will be developed or adapted at the Institute. And the aim is that uh, these methods will be uh, routinely provided to patients uh, for four years, in period for four years for free. So we believe that this is a uh, sufficient time uh, to provide the, the biotherapeutic method so that later on she will able to live its own life. The project started just two months ago and is uh, expected for four years. And the last project which uh, we have, or which we just contracted uh, this month, is a project which uh, will be run in Africa, in Kenya. We have quite extensive cooperation with uh, CARI, which is uh, Kenya Agricultural Research Institute in Nairobi. Uh, for different purposes to study tsetse flies and the methods of biological control of this uh, of these flies, and uh, <clears throat> based on the uh, common discussion with colleagues from Cari, they expressed uh, serious interest for magodebridement therapy and to establish this uh, biotherapeutic method in Kenya. So that's the point, or that's the topic of the project which we are just starting in Kenya. If you remember the title of the presentation, it was not very modest, the successful story. So why we consider this project or these five years, the last five years, like uh, successful? First of all, I think that what is important for us is uh, our patients, uh, based on the feedback uh, from cooperating physicians, uh, we have, or they have documented uh, 200 to 250 patients which uh, who were successfully treated by Magodebridement therapy in 2005-2010. Uh, 
Now we have the laboratory which is uh, able to provide regular supply of sterile RV and uh, distribute them to hospitals or to physicians wherever in Slovakia within 24 hours. Uh, after five years, Mago debridement therapy is now more or less routinely used in 16 Slovak hospitals. We did some work, and I think that successful work, on popularization of Mago debridement therapy in the medical community as well as common public. And I have to say that it has also a very positive effect on the approach of uh, physicians and whole medical community also to other biotherapeutic methods. What is uh, what is good, what is useful, we got the new projects. So we are able now to work on the extension of other biotherapies in our country. And what we consider as uh, very important is that based on the long-term cooperation with medical faculty in uh, our university, since 2011, biotherapeutic methods, methods will be the selective subject for students, students of medical faculty in Common Use University in Bratislava. Thank you very much for your attention.